racial thing. Yep. That's what she said. Listen, I'm petty. I'm petty as fuck. And so I gave her back what she gave to everybody else. Right. But can I they're, ask you They're this? playing checkers. We're playing chess. But wasn't she always that. telling people, go wash the sheets or something? She was. And that's why I told her, you do right. you, boo-boo, and make sure you wash them sheets. Now, right. here, yeah, since yeah, there's so 400... This, that's oh, where oh, this racism came oh, from? This is where she said that I was being racist because I told her to wash her sheets. And me, I don't know how I got, I don't know how I got dubbed it, to be honest so with you. So what was it when she told other people to wash their sheets? I don't know. So, so she spun it. So here, and this is since you have 476 people, and she runs with this narrative that I came for her. I didn't. Let me show you the original screenshot. Actually, I'll keep this one. Yeah, I'll, let me keep this one. Okay. And I think that's it, right? Yeah. So this right here was Thin's video. Am I echoing? No, I can hear you. I wasn't sure if I was echoing. So this is Thin's video, and that was where she was replying to Christy's comment. My very first comment was, wait, did she just call someone a rackhead? Now, B will spin it and say that I came for her and not for Christy. I actually didn't come for anybody. I made an original comment right here, and B felt the need to reply. And this is where the replies start going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So B, I never came for her. I simply made a comment on a video. She felt the need to reply to my comment, and I continued to, re to reply to her. I mean, I can show the whole thread. No, I, I believe you. I just think that so so I do think that sometimes um things get taken out of context. Um hold on a second, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> y'all know I don't do this, right? Uh, I'm gonna you for a second, baby blue, because you're the background noise. I don't think she knows she's up here. Oh she probably doesn't. Right? Have some fun. <laughs> click on her box and hit mute. You can mute her. You click on her box and then you hit the mute button. You click on her box and you can also exit her out. If you had a mod in here, they could do it too. If they had super mod status. I can't hear anybody. Okay. No, I hear you. I can't hear anybody. Okay. Hazel, you're Gosh. echoing. We good now? Lordy B. We're all good? We good? I think we're good. Hazel, let me see, because you was echoing. Hold down on my notifications. Are we good? Perfect, right? I have a friend uh, showing up here in a little bit, so when he gets when he gets here, I gotta go. You're good. You're good. I'm not gonna be long anyway. This was not what this was supposed to be. I was kind of talking about you, saying that I appreciate like the no bullshit, and we got we got here. Um, I think that what people fail to realize is that TikTok's new AI system will or will pick up a comment in seconds. You don't even have to see it. You won't see it. You'll just, uh, you'll finish the comment and system notification pops up. So it's crazy. We're not talking about Victoria. Are you deaf? Sorry. Oh, don't get me started on that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. It is, it is too sensitive. And I've tried to talk to, because I have an agency, and that's the only reason why I still have this page. <laughs> right? But, but that i've tried to talk to them about it but they their ai system is so sensitive it picks up things that like you're not meaning it in a bad way that well, right there I, listen wicked said i don't like when the crew brings up race constantly um some some people keep people around quick because they can play that card yeah. sadly and that that that's not what i'm saying what's happening but you got to think of the plausible out here, people. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like, um, be a free thinker. I don't want I, anybody to go... You can't just call somebody a, a racist for, for nothing. Well, they call well, us bullies, too. 
and, yeah. you know, and, and are there some people that might say some shit? I don't control what other people do out there. And I surely be reminding them, you know, behave out there. But I don't, I mean, I'm free thinkers. I well, don't control I, I would understand if that comment didn't have a history, but that comment has a history of right. her saying it in almost every live. Right. So I was done. I was done with the back and forth. I, I literally just was done and that was my ending comment that was the mic drop of okay this is how you always ended people to shut up in jennifer's live was tell them to wash their sheets and wash your ass i'm sorry i didn't include the washing your ass part i mean i don't know but they, Hold on. you guys are going around saying that we're we're all these things and we're not don't put that on us don't do that right that's not fair no Nobody's being a bully. The bullying that I see is what she did to show me the body shaming, which was utterly disgusting. And then the threats that she made, um, which nobody's afraid of her. I'm sorry. I Who's mean, I'm, who are we talking about? And yes, um, I'm personally not. And um, like, it's just disgusting. Like nobody. <laughs> nobody has to act like that in the yelling and the screaming and like you can't even have a conversation with somebody when they're acting like that um like we're adults you know what i'm saying yeah so and that's what i've missed a lot of the lives because of that so time, out, time out for a minute listen listen here let me get this volume up hold on and what they can yes. do about it what's that got to do with the price of tea in china exactly because they just okay. held a live the other day was talking shit because my son's father's an attorney no we didn't now they was doing that too so what they gonna do, do with him no, hold on right. here it comes make that make sense i don't give a fuck about gonna try to get you in trouble girl and can't nobody she, get me in trouble be sorry just, i'm grown and then for tech and show and show me with her fat 62 chin self you know you want to sit there and talk shit i'm gonna well, talk shit but besides the point talk we never point, talk shit talk on her fucking about anything about her we did post i did send a picture to my friend that got shamed uh two days ago no day and a half ago i gave her a picture from somebody's own page and mm -hmm. yeah uh she has body shamed mouth shamed yep. um and we gave it back to her for a split second um and and t she uh she shamed t in her dentures uh, yep. i'm 63 years old she's age shaming yeah that was nicole is she perfect uh, well, so we proved we proved yesterday. Uh, show me post, posted the picture for a minute, and we showed that she sure ain't, and neither are we. So <laughs> the whole thing was we was we we said about well, damn, she's work, working. It was the one the day we were streaming, and I said we're getting to know you. You're a new character in the in the fucking Lisa saga. So yeah, we got to know you. So while I was on a live, we watched your live for about fucking ten minutes. It ain't like we've been staying the fuck on you. I, we don't do that. And we we said, damn, she's in a client's house. I'd be pissed. Uh, some people voice their opinion how they if she was in my house cleaning it on a live. And then I, I laughed how she ran past the screen five fucking times with one pillow. So that was so. Did that warrant what Show Me got? I think that I have a very different. Um, so so I'm I'm friends with with Jess, and I really didn't like the way that the situation was handled. That does not mean that I agree with what Lisa does, right? But but you have an open line of communication. You could have interrupted the live and then called her fucking father, right? You could have called Jess. Like my neighborhood, I've lived here my whole I just can't. It's a public forum open to opinions. If exactly. she doesn't like it, then she can get off the app. Like you can't expect people to to stream twenty four seven and then get mad whenever people have opinions she ain't going on, on it. about me. Did that you I hear? Did you. you hear the first live? Our first? You know, I didn't. I, I I'm just coming in blind. Right, here, here. I asked in the chat. You want to listen? And that's how this happened. You want to listen? Real yeah, quick. Yeah, go ahead. We wouldn't do. We do shit that we say we. You know. Her. Wait, wait, wait! This ain't the one. This is this. Her. This is look, because I've been. I, I, I was. Live, whatever wait. you you want to call them. Here it is. Everybody, oh, check. How are you, babe? Check. 
Am I? Am I? I'm not echoing. Am I? This is no, that not evening. No, man. You yes. good girl. Bad TikTok glitches going around. Bad. They're dropping people out of boxes, adding people. To invite. Girl, it's called Timu Wi-Fi. Girl, they it's all love me over there. No, we love you, Tech. Wi-Fi. They said my live started doing a loop earlier. That's what. <laughs> Crazy. I'm kidding. Is he new here? So, you know, there's there's two paths um, Lisa can choose to go down. She can choose to go down a path of righteous and get right. And that requires her to walk through a set of doors, which guilt and shame is is keeping her where she's at. A great. Former crackhead here. It, the guilt and shame kept me out longer a great. than um, I needed to be. The other uh, path, probably, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing her ending up at ACJ, and I know she, she definitely Hi, don't want to go there because um, ACJ ain't, ain't no joke. Um, or institution or uh, death because that's our end. And um, everybody is tuning in to watch to find out what happens next. And um, it, what happens next isn't pretty. It's not. And um, I would like to take a moment of silence for Lisa and for any other addict out there, uh, crackhead, junkie, useless, hopeless, uh, anyone out there that's still sick and suffering, if they find their way because they're lost and they do shit that they normally wouldn't do, we do shit that we say we would ne I would never, I would never do that. And guess what? Here I am fucking doing it. And See, I'm yeah. sure glad that I didn't have no damn TikTok when I was out there. Because y'all be covering me right now. And for the girl that rolled up on Lisa tonight, you lucky you didn't roll up on me. Because I would have handled that. And be very, be very vigilant about your surroundings when you want to go do some shit like that again. Um, so I know the family. I've known the family for 22 years. Uh, well, that, yeah, kudos, kudos, and uh, yeah, kudos. But I'm not gonna sit here with her in my neighborhood, bring church BS around where my kids lay their head, and she's on live saying she's lost when she's sitting across the street from her parents. Okay, well that that was a solution to get her quiet. Did it did it quiet her? Is she quiet now? It's oh, not she, a solution to get her quiet. It was the hope that her dad no, was in like the neighborhood. Is she gonna? Is she? Is she getting? Are you getting her out of the neighborhood? Is that what you're trying to do? I was wrong for that. Wrong for what? What was I wrong for? Just talking about something? If it, it was, it was. It, it, I agree with you. Say somebody. It, it, should, it shouldn't be, be recorded and it shouldn't be put on TikTok for everybody to see. I've been saying that the whole live. I, I don't agree with it either. What I'm Amen. saying is that yeah. could be dangerous. And I'm glad that you know her for twenty some years, and that's how you rolled up on her. I'm just saying you could roll up on the wrong one sometime. One time. Seriously. Like I, said, I physically know who she is. I've known the family. I've been a part of the family. I was engaged to her cousin. Okay, so, so have you have you ever seen else. somebody have you see, ever seen anybody in a full rage to get what they need to get? Have you ever have you ever known somebody to choke another person out and take their life okay, and be still wanting to continue time. getting high? That was his time out. Did you don't need to be still getting time. high. You don't need to be coming on here attacking me. I'm not attacking you. I'm just, I'm very passionate. Let me turn my voice down. Hold like, on. Okay, Let me turn it down. I understand something. I Let did this only for my dad. I know the inside story. I'm hoping that this will now push her dad to push her out that door and into a rehab because he doesn't believe this is what's going on. Oh, I've heard him in a pickup truck. He knows what's going on. Uh, I'll My go fault. away. I'll go away. No, Tech, you are yeah, yeah, here. I'll away. go away. No, you're, you're welcome. welcome here. Tech, tech no, you have tech. a valid point. And I, I've been saying this <laughs> the same thing a couple times. It, 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 everybody's, it's okay for us to have different opinions. Hold on. It's okay tech for Tech to feel like mine's an unpopular yes. one. Mine's an unpopular one, but it's. But mine is too. I, I, I'm, I'm on your page. I don't think what, what should, was done tonight was right either. I don't think it should be broadcast on TikTok. I don't think any of that should. I've been saying that forever. I've been getting all kinds of comments down here, but it, it, but it's okay to, to agree to disagree. But, it, but if that's what you're, if that's what you agree with, that's what you agree with. Tech is just very.
opinionated and she just got a loud voice like we all do. It's okay if Ted feels- That was Nelly agreeing that I wasn't attacking anybody, but they've been on this kick since and they drug- Yes. Yeah, so that way about what happened. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think that's valid, and I don't think it's right either that it should be put on TikTok. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa, but I'm Lisa not going to be disrespectful to anybody. I'm going to respect other people's opinions. Lisa does broadcast. Lisa broadcasts every single day. We know that she broadcasts. Oh, She's out. She went from 650 people in her room to 4,500, and we've seen it go quick. We've watched her deteriorate before our eyes. People see it. And, you know, I, I, I'm just going to continue praying for her. I don't really hop in discussions too much about her no more because um, she's at her bitter ends. And uh, I, I, I hope what you did tonight, you know, does maybe click something in her in her head. Um, I pray that that, that works. But that's the thing about posting on TikTok. That was disrespecting and this is supposedly here. You're sending more casts. So I didn't uh, post me recording her. You all heard her end of it. Tech was disrespecting. So I just want to say one thing, Nicole. If she's forced to go to rehab, it's not going to work. No. If she's forced to go, she it does listen. I, I went to jail. Go. Like, I, I'll be clean 11 years next month. Girl, I, mm. I was in a psych hospital twice. Mm. I, that still didn't make me want to go. You know what I'm saying? If she's forced to go, then it's not going to do her any good because as soon as she gets out, she's going to get right back to it. And this time it's going to be worse because she's going to be clean. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is this is my only opinion about the rehab thing. What you did, you did, sweetie. That, that's got nothing to do with me. But if she's forced to go, it's not going to work. And when she gets out, she's going to think, oh, I can still do the same amount that, chat that I was doing up. before. And that but may be the last time she does it. You know, it's like the 302. It, it, didn't, it didn't work. I no. wasn't trying to right. be disrespectful. To, hold on. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful what I said. I don't maybe think I did come off wrong. But maybe the street in me came out for a second. Just letting anybody know, if you're going to roll up on somebody like that, and you thinking that it's just a little, you know, a little crackhead that ain't got no weight behind them, you better watch out for them ones. Seriously, that's where I was okay, going you know with what that. I'm of, and I'm, I, 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 so Jess, can you unmute for a second just so I can clarify this something before right I get off here? But kudos. That's enough. Yeah. He's exposed. Does your dad not believe what is actually going on? Crickets. Or should I say he once could not believe what's actually going on? I heard a year ago, a year ago, I heard him in the truck. She was doing something and he, he knows what she's doing. But he might not know the extent of it now. She's not supposed to be on. <laughs> well, we that's that. it. That's how that's and that was me attacking her that day. Now they coming out, you know, they coming out for show me because show me voiced her we, we she was over in jen's live or somebody's live and she was telling her truth i hopped in a box show me hopped in a box and she said she was over there telling her side and then she got tag teamed by me and show me oh, and no, show me what show me how long ago was that tech what's the Not, date of that live uh, um, it's, it was jennifer's live so i can ask jennifer this was life. um this was like on about a week and a half ago, maybe. Oh, Melly's was all day, every no, day. No, that, that one, that one was the night that uh, that was the day that that, that shit walked week. off. When that was, was that? last week? That was that was the original time that she, when Lisa was live, that she went and rolled up on her, and we heard her on Lisa's live. That was a little over a month ago. It might have been like that later on that evening, or because it was because I was just getting, I had just seen it. Somebody did. I heard, you know, Lisa's live and the person behind. I didn't know who the person was behind. Right, right, right. I got you. I got then, you. then lives were happening. She popped in. Who's live? Yep. It was me. I did it. Yep, yep. And but that's where I had a problem. I, <clears throat> I really didn't have a problem with the initial interruption of the live, right? Because I do think that the people that were watching Lisa's live needed to understand that there was somebody that understood what was going on. I didn't have a problem now. My problem came every minute after that. It was box. It was a fucking worldwide press tour. 
all day, every day, even at work, doing this, doing that. That's where my problem came into it. Especially when you weren't, like, that girl's not just his friend. You, yeah, and, we're, and we're not bringing in, we, she bringing up that we're bringing in her kid. You brought your kid in. We just had a discussion about it one, a couple fucking times. And we're not, I, I don't believe any, I don't believe in going real life with anybody. I don't believe in threatening messages. And I share that all the time. If you're thinking you're being a friend of mine and you're doing that shit, don't be my friend no more. I don't mm -hmm. want to be a part of that part. Right. And I feel bad that if she's getting the hate that she's getting. And, and some of it, I think, uh, if, if somebody was up in my shit, I'd be showing that motherfucking shit, saying, see what the fuck I'm getting? Do see I that? think that she's getting hate? Probably. Yeah. yeah, for sure. But, but it ain't me. No, no, I agree with that. And, and I think that that happens a lot when people have, like, large followings and, like, they're credible and have a voice, right? They just, people just want somebody to blame. And it doesn't, there's so many people that have an opinion about this, but they're afraid. The first time that I said, I made a video when I was like, are y'all stalking this girl? And and I, my DMs was slapped full of people saying thank you because I don't make videos and I don't make content, but that was too far. So there are a lot of people that feel that way. They might not be as vocal, but they feel that way. And it's been going on ever since let me she is not nicole's friend if she was nicole's friend she would have called nicole i mean jess she would have called jess and said get your sister out of the front of my house she wanted was, the kudos like, for it she wanted to be noticed for it and get the fame for it well, i'm sorry some just, it wasn't some just clinked chevy correct me if i'm wrong correct me if i'm wrong please do but now the beef is, the thing is, is that she's making all this ruckus in the neighborhood. But but she was on a live one night saying, let me, it, it, let me know if you hear a train or a motorcycle in Lisa's live. So, so therefore, you had to have somebody else in Lisa's live let you know if you hear a train. So that meant you didn't hear Lisa. So it was, so it was that night and she claimed that Lisa's not supposed to be on TikTok. And she wanted to go tell she wanted to go tell Lisa's dad so that he knew that she was out front doing it. Now here's the thing. It's from one street to the next. In before she went up to her, I mean she said, I All right, you. everybody listen. If I hear a train, I know right where she is. She heard the train, they went for a walk. No, she heard the motorcycle. She didn't hear the train. Uh, Driving well, by yeah. deep in the horn. Too she much. heard a noise. Yeah. Too but much. here here's the problem is all this is going on. So all this argument and they're running with this and they're bringing this up. But what it's doing is it's pushing away the fact that a lot of people aren't noticing. And and Bama Bev asked it, are we going to connect the timing of her coming up on L, then coming into a live claiming it? Now, here's the thing. If she didn't know Itty <sighs> and she didn't know them, mm -hmm. how did she know that immediately after to do it, to come straight to that live, yep. get in a no, box, no, no. She and knew say y'all did instinct, it? Because I was in there before she got in there. But, but here's, where, here, here's where it connects. If you listen in that live before Tech gets in a box, if you listen to live, yep. Eddie gets in a box and goes, the moment I heard that voice, I knew no, it was, was. you. Yeah. So if this girl hasn't been around and she hasn't been talking about Lisa, how would Eddie know her voice? Because you never see Nicole in the video. You hear her voice. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying there's a, been a lot of back end conversation I agree. between Eddie and Nicole I agree. leading up to this. I agree. She ran around the block just to antagonize her. Did you hear, did you most recently hear the last person that called her out on a live behind? Yeah, no, Jake said, I've been super busy with like real life stuff. The only thing I heard was because it was about you. Yeah, there was, uh, Lisa was on a live and she was asking for bus fare and some chick walked up to her and, and this, I mean, is she, has anybody found her on live yet? Um, there was a chick in the background and she said something and she said, the, bu the bus ain't this much. She said, you trying to get your fix. She said, cause no, I was, it was a press passerby and the girl, and the girl said, so am I. It was a passerby. She but gets it, but, called out every single day, every, every day. single day, every day in her chat. And the but girl before, said, if stop. you just want some um, rack, why don't you just say that? Just I got some. It. And she ended the live. Yes. Okay. But but before we get off on that, what I want to keep going with this back end stuff. <laughs> so the protection order that was served, right? That was from an ex mod. 
if y'all pay attention, Itty is friends with the ex mod sister. She knew when that protection order was going to be served on Lisa and Nicole was in the box and outside waiting on it. Listen, it's all a back end thing. Itty is into it a lot more than what people or then what more than she's putting on? Oh, I 1,000% I, I agree. I also think yeah. that it's really frowned upon to not tell the whole truth on a protection order, mm -hmm. right? And I think that, for those of you that don't know, I did speak to Kim H, and I have probably two hours of that call recorded. I was not alone on that phone call. And I think that it's really shitty to go as far as to file a protection order to shut Lisa up so Lisa can't tell how involved you really were. Listen, if they, they if threatened Chevy. They threatened Chevy to go I'm pro life to call her boss. They can call Why? my boss. I don't give a shit. My uh, boss and they is a told bitch. me that I needed to worry about my own shit because of my husband. Like my that shit ain't I've already been doxxed on this app. My children have been doxxed. I just don't talk about it every day. I've right. gotten threatening messages. I keep doing me because that's all right. I can do. Right. So so that's what I want everybody to pay attention to though is that if y'all remember itty held a youtube live about two or three months ago uncovering all this about about kim k or kim whatever the ex mod and then all of a sudden her sister pops up on TikTok. listen there's a lot of back end stuff and people think that it's just by chance i agree she's finding these people she's not she's really not and i want people to focus on that forget everything else they're saying about us or mm. anybody else i want y'all to put a timeline together get you a mm. whole broad side of a barn and go back they're not smart enough to realize that it's not just an easy puzzle ronnie piece in my comments right when I was doing that. No, no, no 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 ronnie's i love ronnie yeah, i love ronnie Stacey. ronnie has a lot to know about nicole so. Yeah, Ronnie is Ronnie, Ronnie. And first of all, I probably talk to Jess every day. And Jess was genuinely like, she felt some kind of way because that girl was supposed to be her friend. And she was texting Jess all day long, worried because Lisa had been MIA all day. And then all of a sudden, it flips the script. And she's doing this. That I didn't know. Dylan, we didn't know that. We did not know that. Right. What like, part? The which what villain just said i do well, know oh, that. you want me to repeat it i'm sorry no, can you uh, repeat it, villain? Can you repeat it oh yeah she she's been friends so so that day right earlier that day when when nicole called out lisa right lisa had not been seen or heard from since like that 4 30 in the morning live or whatever um, so, so Jess asked, she's like, have you seen or heard anything about Lisa? And I said, no. Um, and then later on is, is when, uh, so J Jess didn't name her, Nicole to me, but she said, well, my friend lives there and my friend keeps giving me updates about this, that, and the other thing. She's so worried about her because she hasn't been there. How do we go from worried to what you're doing? That's wow. That is wow. So like. Like this is, and, and so like you said, like there's a lot that people don't know. And I told Jess when I found out, she was like, that's the girl that I've been telling you about all day. And I was like, that girl ain't your fucking friend. Your friend would have interrupted the live and then gone to your father and said, yo, go, go, go get your kid. Your friend wouldn't have made this whole big scene. That ain't your friend. And that's why Ronnie said what she said. Absolutely. Yep. And everyone came for Ronnie and was like, well, where have you been? Absolutely. Like, really yep yep what do, you expect them, what do you expect them to do they can't take her kicking and screaming they they and listen it really bothers me and, and it's not my place to say right because it necessarily isn't my business but there is a lot that people don't know so to attack the sisters who legitimately are probably the the only ones that have tried is is madness. Ronnie having her own personal feelings about Nicole's issues, that, that completely separate, right? Ronnie and Jess, I mean, I'm sorry, Jess and Nicole was supposedly friends and she was texting Jess all these things for updates and then blasts her on the fucking internet. Why didn't you just text Jess? Yeah, Ronnie's That's doing what I didn't like. Ronnie kids. I said something's off here. Something's and do we all here. remember and when Ronnie?
Do we all remember when Ronnie used to drive far to take Lisa to the clinic every day? So don't come in there and say, well, Ronnie never did nothing. Ronnie had a baby and Ronnie was raising That's right. her family. That's right. So again, you all are jumping on the bandwagon a y years later. Right. Not you, There's Dylan. so I'm just much saying, that, people, that people don't know. There, like there really is. No, I, have, no. I think actually tech i texted jess i think last week and i said i think it might be time for you to say some things right I, yeah. th I think it might be time because it's not fair that the hate is coming to you and your sisters when it should be directed somewhere else yep. right and she said you said the same thing <laughs> yeah tech texted absolutely say that yes mm -hmm. well you know lisa has a snapchat now and i added it um, and I haven't had any conversation with her at all, like even on TikTok. Mm -hmm. And, um, she had messaged me and it was, it wasn't any hi, hello. It was just literally a link to her Venmo. Yeah. <laughs> Listen oh, to me. Oh I gave up, right? Because I would say for a tall in two weeks, it was, it was not easy trying to find a bed that would take her on that high of a dose of methadone and her insurance. I tried. That's when I originally messaged you, Tech, and I said, "Can you please email me?" And so that because I wanted to know yeah, what had already thing. been done, so I knew where to go. Lisa can go to treatment at any given time. Okay, oh, any day, twenty-four-seven. Choosing, choosing this life, and I know that that sounds crazy, right? Because we can't imagine in our logical minds why somebody would try to choose to live this type of life. She is choosing it. She knows at any given time she could call tech, she could call me, and she would be in rehab the same day. Oh, I get it. I sent her a um, a long video. I mean, not a long one, but I told her, I said, you probably won't ever watch this, but I mean, I sent her an encouraging video and um, told her, you know, she's been in recovery before. She knows what it takes and, you know, it's possible and she can do it so and a bunch of other things so we'll see if she opens it and reads it but i doubt it <laughs> my my whole opinion me, on what me? nicole did on i Lisa's, can hear you i got i gotta go i gotta okay. i gotta go i'll be back though go ahead go ahead i'm gonna end soon anyway i just wanted to know what happened uh thank you and if you have any other questions don't hesitate to ask or if you need uh, me yeah to... I, i'm actually gonna message you after because there's something i found out about during this live and i just have questions about okay huh? right. my, my whole opinion day. on what my whole opinion on what nicole did though was counterproductive it was because what it because what it did is the people that don't know the story you just made them say oh shit, we've got to get her out of that area because people are walking by screaming at her so she may have only gotten twenty dollars from that live but because you walked by and screamed and threatened her people, people felt saw bad. it and said oh shit," and they so, probably so started rolling the fuck in so it's counterproductive. that's a big reason just for me right if anybody that doesn't know this i retired in september right because what i was finding was the more i posted about these people mm -hmm. the more attention it brought them right and that was counterproductive to what i was trying to do mm -hmm. i was trying to to lower with the numbers not not bring them higher I'm glad so you I, admit stopped that. Doing, I stopped doing awareness or, i'm glad you admit just, that villain because what? i'm glad you admit that because people won't admit it lisa went from 600 people and now she has i've seen highest as 6k one thousand percent i will admit that it was i was a part of the problem the problem with lisa right and, and listen, people had been messaging me about Lisa for a really long time, but I was really trying to stay away from stuff like this, right? It's, it's time consuming, right? Because I do do my research. It's a lot of playbacks and replays and screen recordings and drop offs. It's, it's a lot. And I was trying not to get involved. Um, I just couldn't help it when she was screaming at people saying that she um, didn't get a delivery, whatever. That pissed me off, and that's when, like, that opened the floodgates. The first time that I spoke to Lisa, I'm going to say this, and and then I'm, I'm not going to really say much more about it. But I spoke to, I had one phone call with Lisa after the 302, okay? One mm -hmm. phone call. And on that one phone call, that girl admitted every single thing that she does wrong, okay? That was one of the things that made me go, hmm. She knows what she's doing is wrong. Right? So there's 200 channels covering her. Why, do we, why does it need to be me? And then that was after the 302. After the 302, right? 
I, I started getting messages. Oh, you're enabling her. You're this. It has nothing to do with enabling her because you best believe that I still file the fucking reports legally that I'm supposed to, right? I still report every cash out. I still, if there's something that needs to be done with the Pittsburgh police, I still deal with it, right? Why? Because she still, and listen, on the phone call, I told her, you know there's no escaping this, right? It has gotten too big, and there are too many people that have connections to law enforcement that are turning over evidence. There is no way to stop. That train is on its way. The best thing for you to do is get sober and try to deal with it sober, right? She's a different person in private. Yeah. I will. I don't know who's spoken to her in private and who hasn't, but she is a very different person than she is on this app. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that kind of made me step back a bit, right? Because I started to feel it humanized her for me, right? Because up until that point, all I could see is this girl is doing what she's doing and it's pissing me off, blah, 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 right? Behind, but that is not who she is when you speak to her. Okay, me deciding not either. to cover her has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I do not believe that she should and will be held accountable. It does not believe make uh have anything to do with the fact that I believe that what she's doing is right or fair, right? But there is yeah. Lisa saturation, okay, on TikTok and YouTube. Therefore, it does not have to be me. There's no more awareness to bring. It's done. There's no more. And I, I appreciate it. And awareness you. turns into, it is such a double-edged sword. It yeah. is such, and so thank you. Mimi, I actually wanted to talk about that. Thank you. Intentions are everything. And the stuff that's going on right now, right? A lot of this outer community shit that's going on. And this is a huge reason why I stick to myself in a lot of different ways. Because this shit that's going on, that's not awareness. Mm -mm. That's not awareness. Bullying her is not awareness. If you want to talk about the things that she's done and show proof and show patterns of behavior, that's all fine and good. But calling her names, talking about her teeth, speaking about her children, that is not awareness. And, and that's the thing, villain. If Nicole wants to cry and be like, you know, I'm being bullied. What do you think Lisa deals with on a daily? And yes, Lisa has put herself out there and done it to herself. Right. But nobody deserves that. Hate the, hate the disease, not the addict. She is still someone's everything. She is still a person. And listen, I did things in active addiction, Hi, active addiction that I never, even to this day, speak about. Some stuff I do. Some stuff I'm going to take with me to the grave because right. of I'm course. not who that. Just I'm not that person. Sponsor. You can't keep it in. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I, you know what I mean? I'm not going to tell TikTok. Yeah, yeah, like, no. no. But I appreciate you, villain. You know, I... I You're always welcome. I just, mm. I didn't mean to turn it into this. No, I'm just glad you heard our side because it, yeah. it's like we, we have the evidence and we ask them to show the proof and they don't. And that's well, me. I, I started volumes. feeling, I, I started feeling some kind of way when, when I saw a hood being platformed by them. Bro. And I said, <laughs> do they know that he... He is a he's is? a trip, man. He I he came in show me's box and I looked at him and said, Who are you? We don't and, even know you. Oh no, but but I and I was I, I gave grace. I was like, do they not know what he's done? Do, do they not were they not around when because I was involved, I have spoken to his victim. Okay. I was oh, involved wow. with that call out in 2021. Well, Villain, right. you know what he said when I asked him? I, oh, Chevy said something to him. He said, why beat the charges? And I was like, it doesn't mean you didn't do it. Just because you beat him. He did it. He did it. Okay. Jasmine okay. is her name. And they did a pretty good job of scrubbing the justice for Jasmine hashtags. But if I could find my original videos, I will post them. Because I absolutely, Mama Cass had him by the fucking balls when it came to Jasmine. Okay. And she was not the first multiple victims came forward after the fact. Okay. So when I saw that happen, I was like, wait a second. Why you got, why do they know who they have in, in their box right now? I was confused. And then it was 
Victoria. And I'm like, so wait a second, wait a second. We're doing awareness on Lisa, but we're cozying up to women beaters and scammers. How does that work? And and that was kind of the last, you know, that was kind of it for me. But yeah, it's it's unfortunate. And and listen. I, I just, I feel like if you feel, it, I really, hypocrisy is an issue for me. I don't know why. Um, it just really bothers me. It bothers me. And and if I see it, and I'll just remove myself. I haven't said much publicly, right? Like, I, I just keep it moving. I unfollow, block, or whatever, and then I keep it moving. But, but now you're attacking somebody this is now the second time using racism as as a as a crutch when there's no proof of anybody being racist that's wild to me i yeah i keep hearing about scam slam but i don't know enough to mention it but um i'm gonna end because my brother is texting me it's laundry time to see it's laundry time because you know i have to um Less, and it is, it is, because let me tell you something. I have made a lot of mistakes with my platform, right? But what you will always see, if, if I mis make a mistake, if my words are taken out of context or something, I said something wrong and it was taken the way I didn't mean to convey it, you will see a video about me correcting it. You will see me apologize to whoever it is that needs apologizing to and you know what else i do i change that fucking behavior that's why i keep the credibility i have because people know that if i'm wrong i will own the fact that i was wrong i have no problem doing that but these people kind of just wrong and then they, they they ignore it and keep it moving and, and that is why they get what they get right Anyway, I hope everybody has a good day. Remember, all the gifts that I got during this live are being transferred. I haven't found one yet. I will say that 1,000%, but I will. I want to see what uh, area gets hit the hardest before I find the donation spot, but it will be transferred. And when it gets to um, when I send it, I will post the receipts, right? Because that's what I do.